In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called understanding how electrostatic force scales with charge and separation. In this problem, you're going to be given four different scenarios with uh, each scenario is going to have two point charges in it. And you're asked to rank the strength of the forces experienced between the two charges in each one of these scenarios. You're not doing any calculations here. You're just ranking the forces from strongest to weakest. There are two factors that are gonna help you predict the strength of these forces. One of them is the distance between the two point charges. The closer they are to each other, the stronger the force is. And the other factor that you're gonna look at is the magnitude of the charge. Um, the, the number of the charge. So this one has a magnitude of two, this charge has a magnitude of one, this has a magnitude of two. The magnitude of the charge, the greater the magnitude is, the stronger the, the force is between the two charges. One thing that does not contribute to this at all is positive charges versus negative charges. You're not going to pay any attention to that at all. Um, so like in this particular problem, all of my scenarios have a positive charge combining or uh, uh, in the same area as a negative charge. You may have a problem where they're both positive or they're both negative. It doesn't make a difference at all. The sign of the charge is completely irrelevant in this problem. So um, for these, I think it's helpful to start by identifying the distance between the charges. We've got this grid on here that's going to help us identify how far away the charges are from each other. We don't need to know what the unit is. We just need to know the distance between them. So I'm just going through and count the distance between all of these charges. Um, these two are the ones that are close, closest together, and so they are going to be having the strongest um, forces between them. And these ones are the furthest apart, so they're going to have the weakest force between them. These two are in the middle, um, somewhere in the middle of the strongest and the weakest, so these ones are going to be ranked one of them is going to be um, the second strongest and one of them is going to be the third strongest. And to help us figure out which of these is stronger, we're going to take a look at the magnitude of charge. This one, both point charges have a magnitude of 1. This one has a magnitude of 2. The greater the charge is, the stronger the force is. So that one is going to be our second strongest and this is our third strongest.